Hey guys, welcome to the sixth and the final part of our weight loss series and in this last episode I'm going to be answering all your questions that you might have had over the last five episodes. Before I get started just letting you know that me and Neha were both taking in clients if you're interested uh, so if you're interested in hiring us as your coach, feel free to reach out to us via email because Instagram sometimes we might not be able to respond and we will help you reach your goals. The emails are in the description below. So let's get started. So since this video is going to be on YouTube, uh, all the questions that have been asked on YouTube will be answered first, followed by Samaiko uh, Instagram page ko questions and then followed by Mero Instagram page ko questions and then Samaiko page ma samay ma ko questions aru ko matre answer huncha. And for the YouTube video, there will be timestamps in the description below. So find your question and hear me answer it. Uh, so the first question comes from Akbar Ali on my YouTube channel. So he says, uh, can you tell about bloating of belly? So there could be a few reasons. First could be uh, nutrition timing. So if you have a meal and then uh, you wait too long until you have another meal that could cause uh, belly bloating. Another thing that you could be looking into is your fiber intake. So if you're excessively overeating fiber, uh, then that could also be a reason for uh, the bloating of the belly because fiber is a non-digestible form of carbohydrate which is important for our uh, stomach health but excessive too much of that is not good so just monitor your fiber intake if your nutrient timing is fine then make sure uh, that you're watching your fiber intake uh, first of all just completely remove all sources of fruits and vegetables and slow form of slower digesting form of carbohydrates and see how that feels if that feels fine slowly start adding back up some fiber and see what your tolerance level is and then uh, work from there so it's trial and error guys so just figure out what works for you and if it works for you it works for you so if it doesn't uh, get back to me again <laughs> uh, next question comes from Kriti Thapa she says uh, it's been a week that I've been tracking my calorie intake and I've uh, I'm having trouble meeting my protein target I only hit I target targets when I consume chicken I'm trying to consume less meat so I try to incorporate eggs beans lentils even peanut butter but I'm struggling so I would love to so she basically just wants uh, suggestions so first of all it's a good thing that you've started tracking your calories and macros uh, that gives you an idea as to what you're over consuming and under consuming and uh, chicken is obviously one of the uh, better sources uh, easier sources of consuming uh, pr your proteins but uh, it doesn't just end at that so if you are a vegetarian or uh, if you are having difficulties in hitting your protein requirement then I would suggest that I would suggest that when you're choosing your vegetable sources of protein make sure those are higher uh, in protein quantity because vegetable these are multi-source ingredient foods so protein and the hairy carbs just comes as a byproduct so this like the carbs over exceed when success so when you're choosing your vegetables make sure uh, they are soy chunks I think soy chunks are the number one uh, for me in terms of vegetable protein because it has a big portion of protein on it uh, it comes with carbs but it's still less this was the tofu or unsa uh, tofu also comes with some fat some carbs but it also has protein so if you so if you have milk as well so milk mapani carbs or protein unsa but uh, I would it, it still falls on the higher uh, protein side of vegetable food uh, oatmeal or compared to rice have higher protein amount for the equal amount of carbohydrate that it has and if it's still uh, difficult then maybe uh, you should add in some sort of a supplement source like whey protein or uh, concentrate protein or casein or any sort of protein which will help you hit your protein targets and yeah in, in short just uh, choose foods vegetable foods that are higher in protein in the first place and then uh, later in the day you won't have to suffer because like masukhani or like say it's easier because like sometimes i could just be having so much carbs the whole day and belka chicken matra khayabani uh, it doesn't come with any carb and very little fat so it's easier to hit our macros that way but when you're a vegetarian you have to plan ahead and then hit uh, your goals before time also peanut butter is also a all right source of protein so i hope that helps and let's move on to the next question so another let's move on to the next question he asks ritesh upadhyay asks is if there is food containing high or only protein uh, natural food so natural food let's go say divine garne so everything that falls under the sun is natural because it's found on the earth <laughs> key like some people like to uh, term it as 
less use of pesticides and non-conventionally farmed sources of foods like natural food bhanne ho ki machine bada sometimes like whey protein is extracted from milk and milk is still natural but the extraction process like unnatural bhanne ho ki i don't know how you would define uh, natural food but i'm guessing that you're trying to say not a source of supplement and organic food i don't know but oh, yeah, whatever so higher sources of protein is obviously whey protein is number one uh, it does come with very little fa fats and carbohydrates and uh, second would be uh, lean sources of meat so tuna or unsa, chicken unsa. so these uh, come with only protein uh, egg whites is an excellent source of uh, just protein and what else is there because egg yolks mabani there's a lot of protein but it comes with uh, some fat as well, but it's mostly uh, supplementation and ke bansa. lean sources of meat, tuna, fish and uh, chicken basically. Uh, some leaner sources of beef has uh, less fat and no carbs, but in Nepal uh, beef is unavailable. So yeah, those would be my recommendations. And in terms of natural and organic food, I don't think you have to really uh, worry about uh, it being natural because unnatural, uh, like kila bande, because pesticides, bako food is in fact shown to be better for our GI health because organic food, uh, pesticides na ali kana bande ko food haru uh, that they tend to still have uh, bacteria that could affect our GI health, uh, all those things, and it is generally more expensive. Uh, for no particular reason and if you are saying that you want to save the world by having organic food then that is still uh, not as powerful enough uh, sentiment that you would want to have organic food because if, if we want to save the world we want to make sure that everybody in the world is uh, well fed only, only if uh, foods are made in free barren lands and without the use of any medicine to ex exaggerate their growth then the world would be hungry and we would not be able to provide every single person on the earth with food and uh yeah whatever <laughs> uh, i'm getting too out of hand but uh pesticides alleg foods are not bad at all uh, if you're having organic food that's good because it's more likely that you're not having processed junk which uh comes with a lot of fillers to make it tasty um hitting making your macro macros really really high and uh extremely palatable tasty but you might get fat if you end up eating too much but yeah natural food but just the keep on china so i hope that answers your question <laughs> youtube question or like i'll get lama answer they go because that's the way i like to work things now let's move on to uh questions from samai there are questions that you guys asked on samai's instagram so if you guys asked a question in my youtube channel or my instagram page then the questions is not going to be here so so you might want to check in my youtube channel to find those questions so for now let's get started so the first question comes from Anush, Shresh, Shresh Anushka and she says uh, do a weight gain series next. Uh, so uh, if you watch this six part series that we're doing it will actually cover every single topic that you need to be in order to be gaining weight. Uh, just a little bit of modification is needed because uh, calories in versus calories out, metabolic adaptation, all these uh, words that we discussed in the first part will help will make you understand how weight gain works second uh, caloric balance when exactly same oh that's the exact way that you count your uh, maintenance calories uh, just the opposite thing when you're having when you want to gain weight you need to be consuming more than what you're uh, burning so maintenance calories when that higher level ma you need to be consuming your calories uh, and you, uh, macronutrient track garden uh, ex uh, method exactly same way oh and you, uh, how you divide your protein carbs and fat is exactly the same and my protein recommendations are slightly different which also i've covered in one of the series that you might have not watched so i just recommend that you watch everything and then just eat more calories than your maintenance and uh food composition what types of foods that you need to be choosing so just watch our videos and it shouldn't be a problem so i hope that helps answer your question <laughs> mm, second question yeah, he's calling. Why you are calling? What are you doing? I am in video. Oh, wow. Hi. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. Second question comes from Kriti Shrestha. She says, 
I need motivation, Ray. So if you're needing motivation, then it's not a place that you need to be uh, putting your effort into. And if you really want to change something, uh, you need to, you know, want it from within, not for external uh, sources like, oh, I want to do this because I might impress this person or I might fit into this blah, blah, blah. But it's a good place to start your motivation, but you have to internalize uh, things more, uh, think why you actually want to do it uh, how you would you benefit from it and after that it just becomes easier and easier to follow through and I guess uh, it's easy to find motivation so basically don't look for motivation just do things that you love uh, third question comes from Swapnil Mittal.14 he asks how effectively maintain a diet if you are skinny and working out for muscle gain uh, so it comes down to again the uh, caloric balance equation so make sure you're tracking your calories make sure you understand uh, what those uh, macronutrients will do what your maintenance calories is and uh, make sure that you're monitoring your weight over time and just eat more uh, if you want to gain weight eat less if you want to eat less eat less if you want to gain weight so it's pretty it's pretty much down to you know uh, caloric balance which i've talked about so much so much so much in this uh, entire series so just watch our videos please and then ask us questions if there is any problem relating to that and to gain muscle it's a slow process you will gain some fat uh, don't be too worried about getting fat make sure you're focusing on training make sure you're focusing on doing the exercises correctly if you don't know how to do it hire somebody who knows how to do it you could hire us for example <laughs> and or you can just uh, talk to your local gym trainer help ask him to help you out and just keep doing for a long period of time and you will gain muscle it's just a process trust the process follow it through and and you will be amazed with uh, how much muscle you can actually build uh, please tell us effective home workouts for six pack and tone glutes and legs so so watch the videos that we've made um, some my home workout series one at a so we've mostly just uh, covered cardio halke exercises sometimes glutes sometimes abs uh, so we've done about like 24 days or something uh, so you could do that over and over again but you could just type into YouTube and just ask the exact same thing on YouTube map we have arms or glutes or a long form video so you can try that out as well uh, but yes you could do anything just make sure you do for a long period of time micros how to count them with so the exact same way that you would count your uh, macros but in terms of body composition and weight gain and loss it does not really make a difference and as long as you're choosing uh, whole food sources and uh, you make sure you're eating a few servings of fruits and vegetables daily you're eating a wide variety of food not sticking into just one diet plan then micros uh, shouldn't be your concern and if it is your concern that you should be record you should be uh, treated by a doctor and though and the doctor or the medical professional will definitely help you out into what vitamins or minerals that you are uh, deficient in and then that isn't our problem it's for the medical professionals so make sure you eat a variety of foods don't stick to one diet plan uh, exercise regularly uh, eat whole foods lean meats uh, if you eat meat that is fruits vegetables variety of foods to track your calories make sure you're spending more time bulking and maintaining rather than cutting so micros will not be a problem but if you want to track it it's the exact same way as the macros itself uh, can you tell us your diet itinerary for weight loss uh, weight loss like weight loss types <laughs> uh, so mere diet plan got it one it's like even my diet plan we so even my weight loss diet plan will is probably going to be uh, two or three days worth uh, protein for you but uh, and you will end up gaining weight so there's no point in giving me in giving you guys my diet plan but uh, we're thinking of doing like a daily vlog series on how we eat not series but just mirror and have a good full day in a life eating and if uh, somebody else who tra tracks their macros wants to volunteer uh, we're going to be shooting for a day and just posting it on YouTube so people can understand how different types of people eat so yeah if you want us to track your day of eating then I, I would be down so just let me know and for your answer specifically uh, I would say that 
uh, watch our videos again and just uh, understand what works for you and you can make your own diet itinerary without ha having to wait for me all right so next question comes from ray g shah healthy snacks ideas uh, i'm not a really big fan of snacking because it involves you know like binge eating and hard to stop hard to resist but uh, whatever fits into your macros whatever you want to eat is a good idea but if i have a meal then i would have something that has uh, some amount of protein some amount of fats and some amount of carbs so uh, something whole maybe if i i would do like fruit mm, some almonds dry nuts and maybe a whey protein shake uh, that's my usual go-to snack uh, other than that there are granola bars there are protein bars there are supplements there are uh, just whole foods so uh, just the healthy snack option the i am not a big snacker so yeah just have something that has a little bit of everything protein carbs and fat so you don't end up wasting your macros uh, unwisely because like i said in some of the video before protein timing is important so if you're going to have a meal make sure it has some protein in it and that's going to be a healthy snack all right next question comes from how to lost belly fat exercise for belly fat oh my god so like it when you guys ask questions like this it totally defeats the purpose why we work so hard to make like a five part series on how to uh, lose body weight how to gain weight how to track your calories how to manage your macros how to you know understand basics of calories in versus calories out so uh, i don't think it's a question that i'm uh, willing to answer again i've answered it like uh, 15 20 times in the past and i don't want to answer it again so yeah let's move to the next question vegetarian source vegetarian protein source except dairy products and paneer so this is quite a difficult one because you're going to be limited with the food availability that we have in nepal but my go-to favorite is uh, soya chunks as that has the most amount of protein for the little amount of carbs that uh, vegetable pro protein usually have uh, peanut butter is a good source of protein but it comes with a lot of fat oatmeal has more protein than rice pound for pound for amount for about equal amount of carbohydrates uh, milk dairy products would be my go-to but uh, that is completely out of the equation so these are my protein uh, source recommendations uh, beans rumaun alil protein unsa nuts are my alil protein unsa but those are the main ones so i hope that helps and let's move to the next question what is a typical nepali dal bhat calorie count so it depends how much dal you have how much bhat you have how much achar you have how much uh tail you have all those things so measure everything and then uh there are videos already uh, where i teach you guys how to track macros just watch that video and track it for yourself phir hona hai hello phone garnu hello ni asis tapai le ek mahina ma kasto majja le weight ghatanu bhayo re majja le ta haina she had a lot of difficulties in you know balancing it with life uh balancing it with traveling balancing it with work uh some hungry sleepless nights <laughs> uh some hardships and some days where she enjoyed some good food but uh, it just looks like that from the outside but inside i think i know that she put in a lot of effort so uh, it wasn't majale it was uh it was quite a lot of work in her side but uh, i think she did a very fantastic job me being her coach i'm saying that uh she did a very good job in handling her macros handling her stress sleep uh, hunger signals all those things so if you're interested uh reach out to her ask her how she did it what her hardship was and uh, if you want to be coached by her and all those things so easy to thaina but uh, she did a very good job on that case definitely the question comes from pemal ama someone looking so lean when you're 60 kg and someone uh, look fat in 60 what's the reason so it could Uh, be how your structure is first of all if you're taller you're going to look slimmer for sure uh, at the same weight uh, if your limbs are longer then it looks lankier so you'll look slimmer uh, but some people have shorter legs that look bigger uh, so body structure ma dherai kura farak huncha but after that it comes down to how much lean body mass that you have so if you have more lean body mass then you're going to look slimmer than if you're fluffy and you have more fat obviously if you're taller you're going to look slimmer if you're shorter you're going to look shorter and Uh, I'm a bone structure, I'm a lily for a person, but don't be so worried about it. It does not really matter how much you weigh as long as you look fine. So, 
focus on building a lot of lean body mass, lowering your body fat levels, and to lower your body fat levels, uh, you just have to eat less than what you're burning, and later just maintain what feels right to you. And weight does not matter because when you walk the street or when you, uh, most people when they look at you, they never ever ask about your weight, nor even think about it. So uh, weight shouldn't be your utmost concern. Uh, this particular question, BJ0507, Hamle. Two and a half month garda pani gotnu gara bhaya. Some tips, please. Uh, so, gotnu gara bhaya bani, you are still consuming too much calories than you are having. So, r reduce your calorie intake, track how much you are eating because sometimes, kamti khaya just the laksa, but it's overeating. But sometimes, eh, mototi dere khansu tar, vanna khere je, you are having like 1500 calories. So, that could be the reason. And for me personally, mala kamti like when I have three thousand calories a day, mala kamti khai. It's still laksa again. But if somebody else who's lighter, who's shorter than me, who exercises less than me, has three thousand calories, uh, they will be full for three days. <laughs> like pets it big dera khata munda. So make sure you're tracking your calories. And if you feel like you're having too little for the amount of calories, make sure you increase your fiber intake. Make sure you're having more uh, non-palatable food like easily khano sakne. You're having less of uh, artificial sugars uh, like sugary stuffs or which uh, increases the calories rapidly just to khana haru kam garnu fruit juices haru ma dherai calorie huncha uh, for a little amount of hunger suppression that it gives so make sure all of these things are accounted for and you should be good you should be good to go just uh, reduce your calories more and track are you guys married or still dating day? we have a full question and answer on our youtube channel so watch that uh, while doing fasting do we have to strictly follow our our same time or like we can change so fasting got a main reason kiopala you have to understand because fasting alone will not uh, produce any magical reason that will make you lose weight uh, because uh, the main thing is caloric balance but if fasting is uh, so that it helps you stick to your diet better and uh, having the shorter window it helps you eat uh, with more foods that you like meaning foods that have higher calorie but less amount then it could be useful in some cases uh, as long as the caloric balance again is balanced and just for body composition purposes then fasting will not make a difference but once you have committed to something like let's say fasting intermittent fasting I'll only eat from 1 p.m to 6 p.m. then it comes down to discipline you know like just not being able to stick to something that you've set for yourself uh, will definitely that means that you definitely don't have the motivation to you know even stick to your macros even do something simple in life so if you're sticking to fasting stick to it it will not cause any uh, extra benefits or whatsoever but uh, if you want to dedicate yourself to something i would say just go a hundred percent in it uh, believe in the process trust the process and it will make a world of a difference even though it has no uh, significant value so fasting kubalai uh, i would just say that much how to get rid of away of your stretchy skin after uh, your weight loss day so there is no way to do that unfortunately like excess skin is excess skin so uh, if you still haven't gain too much weight I would recommend that don't gain weight too fast so excess skin color you can't not do anything all you can do is lose body fat but the excess skin is always going to be there sadly mm, surgery or wounds so maybe future down the line you think like you can uh, maintain like the lower body fat range then I would just recommend surgery other than that there's uh, pretty much nothing that you can do unfortunately so if other people who's watching don't gain weight too fast. So that's the number one thing. Dai mero lower fat part in a kegarum. Our question comes from uh, Savana. I don't feel like eating anything one day and the next day I feel like eating uh, the whole world. Why this happens, right? Uh, so to answer your question, in short, I don't know, but I have a solution for you. So what matters is hammer weekly uh, calories. So when you feel like you don't want to eat anything just make sure that you hit your protein uh, intake for that particular day and you can save the rest of the calories for the other day when you feel like you want to eat the world so for example let's say that you have uh, 1500 calories that you need to be consuming daily so on day one you can just have 500 calories uh, from protein uh, so you don't lose any muscle 
and then the next day you can save that 1000 calories and have 2500 calories when you want to feel like you want to eat the world and 2500 calories is plenty so this is just a small example uh, but uh, make sure that you do it in a weekly average thing so your weekly cal calorie average might be 15,000 so you can uh, divide those calories in however you want to eat and as long as the weekly balance is fine your weekly weight average will also be fine so that's that a uh, very simple solution to a complex situation but just to answer your question i don't really know since we have, all have different hunger levels hunger signals and uh, too many nuances but make sure that you're tracking calories for each day and uh, making sure that you're hitting your protein for the day at least even if it's hard for you to do it just do it <laughs> and uh, eat the uh, weekly uh, calorie average so that's that our question weight gains tips uh, should i con continue doing cardio even i lost massive amount of weight <coughs> So cardio is a fun topic, but it is not a compulsion when you're in a weight loss or when you're in a weight gain. Uh, but for general physical health, general physical preparedness, some amount of cardio is fine, like walking, uh, skipping, jogging at lower intensity, just for health, heart reasons, uh, just for life, being able to you know move around, uh, play with your children if you have or just walking down and up your stairs or a sudden hike that uh, your family decides to go on so some level of cardio fitness but you don't have to do it uh, when you are losing weight or gaining weight if your uh, goal is strictly body composition you don't you do not need to worry mm. can you tell us about fasting how good or bad is it uh, for sustainable weight loss i think i've already considered talked about this topic uh, below so find that answer but it is sustainable if you can uh, follow it through but in my case I like the freedom of you know uh, just counting my calories eating uh, with proper meal frequency meal timing uh, proper sources of foods and fasting is not my uh, recommendation for most people but if it works for you it works for you any negative relation between muscle gain and cardio uh negative relation that's high enough but excess like those are two ends of the spectrum neither so if you focus highly on cardio then you will not be optimally uh, balancing your muscle gain uh, whereas when you're focusing on just muscle 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 then cardio is not uh, the best way to do it and if you're in happy medium you can just do both uh, but max the main there is muscle back man some amount of cardio is essential like I said again uh, just for life purposes and if you have only cardio 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 some amount of muscle is also good uh, just for injury prevention balance symmetry uh, some amount of muscle is good but negative positive relation could be found in every single thing the best way to measure macros I have a video uh babu the and tyson die banu di banala i adore you a lot eh? thank you so much for supporting watching our stuff and loving us lots of love to you as well how can we control overeating and cycling ma kunai chai more effective huncha cycling or walking ma kun chai more effective huncha so overeating control garnu parne bhaneko main reason chai is to make yourself accountable uh so the only objective way is to measure yourself daily and track your calories and if you're having too much then your calories then mm, you make yourself accountable and eat less and if you're gaining too much weight too fast then again make yourself accountable and eat less and uh, choose food choices that will uh, cause you to stay fuller for longer so more vegetables fruits that have higher uh, what do you say higher fiber or uh, it has a lower glycemic index those foods will stay in your food body for longer and uh, it will make you less hungry so in return maybe you could control your overeating habits and cycling or walking makunse more effective and and this i would ask for what reasons if you have a lot of energy like if you are not focusing too much on stressful workouts at 
uh, the gym like I do, like powerlifting, just cycling, you are taking away too much work that you could be spending on things that you actually want to get better. So in this case, I say walking is going to be more effective. But like if you are completely, if you completely don't do anything, but you want to burn the most amount of fat, the fastest cycling, running, man, you should a eh, cycling, walking, man, you should be doing running on an incline. But that will come at like a lot of a lot of expense on your daily energy expenditure that you might have. So cycling or running, man, say, but it depends on the context. Uh, I think walking would be more effective for most cases. So walking is better than cycling. Just for weight loss purposes and for T levels too. How to gain body weight without gaining belly fat? Belly fat. So, bistari gain garnus or focus on building a lot of muscle. I would recommend that you gain uh, no more than 0.5 percent of your body weight a week. Uh, make your gain gradual and slow, and you should be gaining less uh, fat. And if you have more uh, lean body mass than belly fat, matte problems I think uh, could be solved. Booty ma matre fat gain gonna milena like my leg gain my stomach area ma matre dance. Uh, so maybe the way that you're approaching things are a bit uh, I don't want to say selfish, but uh, maybe you're not doing it for the right reason. So make sure that you're uh, focusing your exercise training uh, for your entire body. Ani make sure that your weight gain is uh, gradual, and if you have too much uh, fat to be uh, starting with make sure that you lose all the fat you lose some amount of fat so that you're healthy and then uh, slowly develop uh, better habits at the gym and uh, overall uh, and you can focus on the muscles in your glutes and uh, it will definitely grow and everything else will grow too so uh, that's something that you have to take in consideration uh, but yeah focus your training more on your glutes if you want to get your glutes bigger and uh, just take things slow, one step at a time, baby steps forward, and that's the right way to do. Uh, how to gain? Hi, what should I do to lose my lower belly fat? Bhat uh, kadi time sir? Mero? Mero to banu mil lai na? Because mo is completely different, anywhere from one to four. Uh, but tapai go afno needs on sir afik hanus and yeah that's it this was the diet chart please for weight loss so if you are our client we will personalize your diet chart for you and make sure that it works for you uh, so hit us an email and we will help you out for that because everybody's diet chart is going to be so 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 different and uh, we're going to be doing a video series like I said earlier in the video. This comes from Anusha Stressed again. Uh, our question from the same person. She says, My fitness app used got 200 calories, meal then 100 to 100 calories remaining. So the more important thing is that you're tracking your macros and macros will account for calories. I know. Uh, but my fitness pal or some of the other tracking apps, uh, the food label manufacturers can. Uh, what do you say? I'm just looking for a food label kippan center as a room but you can uh, put your macros to the closest tenth calorie. So if your food contains hundred and five calories, so you can call it hundred calorie or you can call it hundred and ten calorie. So Tio Garda Kheri Jay like Din Mari two thousand, three thousand calorie Khanda Kheri. So food but a five ten, five ten gore, I'll get the difference back. Oh, but focus on your macros, it should not be a problem. Uh so now nah, three to six that is it necessary to do hit or cardio every single day to lose weight no it is not necessary it is optional and if you are a bodybuilder or if you're a bodybuilder i don't mean you're competing on stage but if your uh, idea is to look good with lean body mass and you're focusing more time on cardio than you're at the gym you're uh, doing the wrong thing so cardio should be done less of and more time should be invested on uh, eating properly, training properly at the gym and cardio if it's not your sport then you should just be focused on having a minimum threshold just for life uh, I am not being able to cut fat from arms and belly even after workout legs could say kaile bordena so I think I've answered this question before so uh, that comes from Shilima how to build muscle Lakpa mm, Sherpa how to build muscle so building muscle is a slow process make sure that you're doing a properly periodized 
a training program that has progressions uh, progression money you're getting better day to day week to week month to month year to year uh, so that's that and you should be on a surplus to be in uh, so you should be on a surplus to be gaining uh, body weight so small surplus maybe point five percent uh, of your body weight per week and once you get too fat uh, or you feel like you're getting too fat after maybe 12 or 16 or 20 weeks then I would recommend to do a mini cut which all of it we have a video on uh, so just do that and it's a process it takes time and yeah that's it how active are you guys uh, so Neha is more active than me because my work is mostly I do it from home but I do all made a computer work standing up so I don't know how much energy expenditure that contributes uh, week my actually do just just say like I'm doing some sort of a fun activity or maybe going on a hike maybe going on a bike ride or I don't know uh, something active which involves me being physically active and uh, I do some walking every day like five to six thousand steps a day uh, in the treadmill or just walking around the house and I train at the gym really 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 hard <laughs> like so hard that you can't even imagine how hard the training is so I'm pretty active uh, Neha does like a whole bunch of person training uh, running around for work and playing with her dog and she also exercises regularly so we're both pretty active not like a construction uh, worker level active but definitely more than a sedentary person uh, please make, make weight gain video how to lose lower belly ignore ignore for belly fat should we focus on whole body or just belly area ignore how to know your calories we have a video what's the reason behind weight loss uh, so this uh, I talked in the first part so you should watch that video but I'm just gonna answer it quick so once you lose weight you are adapted to a new metabolic uh, speed of your body so that we call it medic a uh, medical uh, metabolic adaptation so once you hit that point then uh, that lower level of your maintenance calories uh, and then you eat like your fat version of yourself before which was higher maintenance calories so you regain weight so make sure you're tracking and then uh, you'll understand why you've gained in comparison to why you've not gained or lost how to make chubby skin look slim so i think it comes down to uh, lean body mass and body fat but some people like they're very shredded like bodybuilding level shredded but they still uh, have some chub on their face and i think that goes to your genetic structure but uh, in general if you're losing more body fat and uh, you have more lean body mass then you will look uh, less chubby uh, nothing to ask you guys but uh, are so precious you love love Ray. thank you so much uh, and thank you for your support and love our question the bean 618 uh, down from 92 kg to 86 mainly due to intermittent fasting uh, and cycling now weight doesn't go down so you've witnessed metabolic adaptation I talked it about in the first video so you need to identify what your maintenance calories right now is and then cut more calories and depending on how much weight you want to lose I think it's in the second or the third part so watch our videos please before you ask questions like this ah oh, so many questions how can we uh, control portion meal so just track your calories and divide them into four pieces which I've recommended and just eat how much you are supposed to eat for those calories if you haven't watched our videos please suggest me a healthy way to lose weight long term this entire series that we've done is made on this exact reason uh, just want to lose my belly fat any tips from USA so from USA uh, how to lose belly fat uh, Cartiers. my weight has been a constant from three months I lose 11 kg from 679 target weight 55 uh, so you've witnessed metabolic adaptation cut more calories uh, if that's not possible then I would recommend that you do a sl slow reverse diet if it's not working reach out to me because reverse diet is I think not coachable properly on a video format so we'll have to work closely so uh, reach out to me or Neha or Samay and we will help you to reverse your metabolism to normal speed hopefully uh, by 
hopefully and not gain too much weight low budget meal chart for a guy 588 inch tall and 65 kgs uh, hi brother wow <laughs> Rajan Kumar mm. so this is uh, not a uh, question related to this topic but I studied in Darjeeling St. Paul school uh, does intermediate Shuveksha 10 asks does intermediate fasting helps in losing weight the answer is yes and no if you are in a caloric deficit you will lose weight if you're in a caloric surplus you won't lose weight and if you're maintaining you won't lose weight so uh, one yes two no's <laughs> what's the first thing you notice about Niyadi blah 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 how to lose weight same person is asking how to lose weight how was the first person uh, can I lose weight without exercise mana shraddha yes you can lose weight without exercise can you share your weight loss diet uh, for weight loss yes we will be sharing it but but uh, it comes with a but it could be different uh, can you share 4000 calories go whole diet plan so we will not share any diet plan uh, that goes against our ethics <laughs> uh, but yes uh, if you want to reach out for coaching and you want a diet plan specifically and not macros we will do that for you as well and when are you getting married right? So we have another Q&A video completely for that too. Thank you guys so much for asking all the questions. Now let's move on to my Instagram page where I had asked you guys and um, I'm running out of voice but I'm doing it for you guys. So I hope you guys appreciate the effort that I'm putting into this. And let's get started with my Instagram page. So yes, let's go. First question, why don't you guys do a weight gain series next? Uh, yeah. Stress to Anusha, I remember you because you've asked a lot of questions. Uh, I think I've already answered this. Shriya.s says, uh, What should we do if we are hitting plateau during our weight loss journey? Uh, so, once you hit a plateau, you can, uh, we've, you've witnessed metabolic adaptation. So, like I said, Agni uh, in the summary question, that you can either do a reverse diet. Uh, for that, you need to reach for coaching because it's hard to teach on video. But if your calories are still manageable and you can cut more calories, I would recommend that do so. But always, guys, always uh, keep yourself keep yourself accountable and uh, always track everything you're eating, how much you're weighing, all those things. So it will become easier. How to be fat? Right? <laughs> uh, just eat whatever you see under the sun that is edible and sleep a lot. Eat a lot. Don't exercise. Just sit, sleep, watch Netflix, and eat more sweets and dishes and if you wake up eat more and sleep and if you wake up again uh, have some rasmala rasmalai and jalebi and everything uh, that you see basically don't eat any healthy foods don't eat uh, any fat eh, don't eat any healthy foods don't eat any fruits vegetables because that'll have less calories so you want to get fat so do that easy cheap sources of protein for students right so student ko like matre cheap sources to hunde na but uh, cheaper sources of protein are usually vegetable sources of protein i don't know how expensive soya is because i don't really eat i just recommend but uh, eggs are cheap uh, chicken pani like you don't have to have the breast just eat whatever chicken there is uh, all all meat sources are uh, high in protein uh, you don't have to choose like just this part, just the rib eye, or just the lean source, just the lean cuts. This is going to bother then I just eat everything. Uh, uh, oatmeal isn't too cheap, but it has some protein. So make sure that you're only eating the least amount of protein that you need, which is 1.8 gram per b lean body weight. So 1.8 times per lean body weight in kilos. So if you have 50 kg lean body mass, then it's like you don't even have to eat 100 grams of protein which is pretty easy to do considering that you're still a student i'm assuming you're young your metabolism is still high so you can eat a lot of food from uh, just rice uh, good question not weight loss or how to reach your max height potential so i don't know really know this topic uh, on height but if you have to be tall you will be tall if you are born to be short you will be short uh, that's the easiest answer that I can give you but work on your posture uh, make sure you're eating healthy variety of foods and that will uh, help you reach your max height potential I'm a huge fan of your body power workout 
Uh, I'm a skinny person. I wish I could get your guidance and instructions to build my body. Yes, I think you need my guidance and instruction to build your body. <laughs> so reach, send me an email and we can get started because for free, I don't think I'm going to do it for you. Uh, squat shoes, science a key, normal shoes, lace, spot unsa. So this is outside the uh, realm of this topic, but um, normal shoes, lay pani unsa, but uh, make sure that it's sturdy because uh, when you're press, pressing off a soft platform, then the force transfer is less so that's the reason what about carb cycles for weight loss swing so it's not magic uh it will not help as long as your weekly balance is wrong so make sure that your weekly balance is correct and uh make sure that your weekly balance is correct on calories protein carbs fat and it will work but i would not say like zero carbs because i have a recommendation how much carbs you need if you're doing light medium moderate hard workout based on your activity and your caloric goals so watch that video and uh, it, it's not magic for sure it's not magic uh, lower bell lower chest build garden saro garavo upper chest has been improving uh, but need your help for lower chest so uh, this is like the uh, this is uh, a, call, a very different question that I've asked because normally upper chest is harder to build. So if you're having a ha easier time building your upper chest, I would say go for it, man. Just keep working on your upper chest and lower chest will just come. I think you just need more time. Uh, lenses you use. Uh, I, 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 I think I'll do like a tech related uh, Q&A too, so stay tuned for that. Uh, Dai is doing... Dai, is it necessary to do cardio or hit every single day to lose weight loss? No. Uh, make sure that you're about gain weight. Uh, okay. Uh, is milk tea very bad while shredding? No. Weight loss is gain ko video video. Okay. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Uh, I have my muscle build gonna suck in sa. Yes. Gorma exercise got a muscle cosser build gonna subly fat loss while a bit of mother acts on. Uh, I cannot give a one word answer for that, but fat loss mother, I know this series covers everything. Uh, just make sure you're in a surplus. Exercise does not really matter as long as you're exercising and you're hitting. Uh, close to the proximity of failure so make sure you're eating more training hard closer to proximity of failure not doing like 30 40 50 reps uh, but within the hypertrophy range so you will build muscle i'm 64 kgs uh, want to do 10 loss uh, diet and idea for food so watch the entire series man like i'm just like from part one to part six so watch everything and yeah uh, you will lose weight and if you want personalized help we're not going to do it for free <laughs> obviously and reach out to us and we will help you to the best of our ability is chicken a good idea is chicken for breakfast a good idea maybe it depends uh, if you want to eat chicken for breakfast it's a good idea for me i uh, i don't want to eat chicken for breakfast because i want breakfast to be you know just wake up swiftly tuck tuck egg around dale oatmeal khaya easy tar chicken ta abe tel hal chicken kata nikala away gara so ali jao huncha but it's totally up to you and I think I'm just gonna wrap it up there. Uh, so thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I hope you guys found this informational. It was very rough and candid, uh, very simple. I'm not gonna be doing any fancy editing on this one. Just gonna keep it raw. So I hope you guys liked it. Make sure uh, you leave a like. If you helped you, leave us a comment saying that you helped me. Thank you so much, Vanera and uh, reach out to me or Neha or Samai for coaching. So if you reach out to me, it'll be me. If you reach out to Neha, it'll be Neha. If you reach out to Samai, it's gonna be the both of us and cheap. <laughs> so thank you all so much for watching. Make sure you like, you share, and you subscribe to this channel or whatever the hell you wanna do. Turn on post notification, blah, blah, blah. Share it with your friend. And I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.